I want to talk about success for a minute because success has been misunderstood. First of all, the greatest enemy of success is the fear of failure. Some people are afraid to pursue their success because they believe they might fail. And so they don't try to do something new. Secondly, success is the potential destiny of all created things. Every seed has a tree in it. And the potential success of that tree is in that seed. And that's the way you are. Whatever you were born to do and be is in you now. And the success of your life depends on you becoming all that is trapped inside of you. The third thing about success is important is to define it. What is success? Here's a definition, and that is success is the completion and the fulfillment of the original intent or purpose for your existence or why you were created. In other words, success is not making a lot of money. Success is not having a big house with a car by a lake. Success is not having a lot of friends and a lot of accolades and a lot of plaques on the wall. Success is really very, very simple. It's you discovering your purpose and then completing it before you die. In other words, success must be measured by why you were created. Success is therefore purpose fulfilled. Success is not measured by what you've done compared to what others have done. This is very important because sometimes we compete with other people and because we do better than them, we think we are successful. Success is not outbidding or outclassing other people. You can always find somebody less than you, so you think you are successful. Therefore, success should not be measured by what you've done compared to what others have done. Then how do you measure success? Here's how you measure it. Success is measured by what you've done compared to what you should and could have done. Let me say it again. Success is measured by what you've done compared to what you should and could have done. In other words, the only person who knows how successful you are is you and God. I remember one day when I came home from school as a junior high student, I came first in my exam. I got the highest grade. And when I got home, I showed my grades to my mother. And my mother looked at the grade and she says, you came first in the class. You beat everybody else. I said, I sure did. I beat everybody else. I said, aren't you happy? I came first. And she looked at my grades and she said, I'm disappointed in you. I said, why? She said, you came first with 69. You ain't smart, the other's just dumber. In other words, I was measuring my success against other people. She says, you can do better than this. In other words, she was teaching me a lesson that success is not measured by how you compare with other people, but how you compare what you are capable of doing yourself. As a matter of fact, when you read the Bible, the Bible says the race in God's plan is not to the swift. You don't come first because you are ahead. The race is those who what? Endure to end. They finish what they started. That's success. Purpose, therefore, is the key to success. Here's a statement I found. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. When you look back at the failures of this year, you know some things didn't go right. You know some things you didn't accomplish. Some of you failed in doing some things you really wanted to do. Your goals were not fulfilled. And you can look back and be depressed. But looking behind you doesn't help you for the future. And looking ahead of you can really make you afraid because you look at the uncertainty of whether you will succeed. But I come to tell you that what's important what's within you now. And God has placed in you everything you need to become all you were born to be. And you are carrying it right now. And therefore, the word of God said it so well. It says, unto him who was able to do exceedingly, abundantly above, beyond all you can ever ask or think, according to the power that's working, not in heaven, but he's placed the power inside of you. And that means that whatever you were born to do and become is on the inside of you. Very important to understand that. There's some things God wants done in you. And that's why you shouldn't just go about making plans without spending time with God. Because you ain't smart enough to figure out your future. And God knows your future long before you was created. And therefore, he wants you to know his purpose so your plans can be in keeping with his purpose. What a tragedy to be successful in the wrong thing. It's like a bird trapped in an egg. If that bird never flies, that bird is a failure. It never made it to flight. And that is what success is. Success is not just existing. Success is making it to the end of why you were born.